Hey, what's up guys? Imran here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And I've been waiting for this moment for so long. So, so, so long. And it is finally here. I just got FSD Beta yesterday. I've taken two trips on it, totaling 20 miles. And so today I'm gonna talk to you about how I figured out how to get FSD that you might not be aware of. And I'm gonna take my third drive around local streets here in Naperville. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, welcome back. So first to start off with just showing you the software version that I'm currently running. It is FSD beta 10.69.2.3 and the update notification that I got yesterday was for 2022.20.18. So that is the software version that I have right now. And um, let me go ahead and mount this camera on the top inside of my car and we will go ahead and get started with the video. Just for uh, my safety, I'm gonna go ahead and blur out the bottom section of the screen here, um, just so it doesn't show which roads that I'm on. But uh, this is again my third drive and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about one thing that I found out that um, helped me get FSD beta. So uh, about a few weeks ago, uh, I came across a post on Twitter uh, and I believe it was Miss Jillian, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, I'll pop it up on the screen somewhere here. I believe it was her post that she told someone that uh, you basically have to have at least 100 miles on autopilot completed for you to actually get FSD beta. I did not know about this. So what I had been doing is in the city, I had not been using autopilot, but I've been trying to keep up with my safety score. And so I was driving myself, by the way, this is not initiated. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it now um, and let it do its thing here fully from here to one of the forest preserves that are not too far from here. And uh, we'll see how well it does. I've never tried it in, on this road, by the way, my first time. So anyways, uh, so what I was doing before was I was driving very carefully and um, I was trying to keep up with my safety score which ranged anywhere from like 89 to 92 and throughout this time Elon Musk pretty much rolled it out with the higher safety scores first and I believe most recently rolled it out to someone that was around 95, 93 if I'm not mistaken even 90. Don't quote me on that. I don't remember exactly what, what the last update was from him on that. Um, but. I just tried to maintain my safety score and I didn't engage autopilot as much in the city streets because technically I didn't use it and it wasn't really made for that. On the highway trips that I did uh, going to Michigan and things like that, I did use it quite often. Um, this is so sweet, look at this, it's gonna turn left by itself or stop because of my light. Um, I did use it, but because my safety score was so low that I never actually was able to download FSD beta or I should say I never got an alert to download FSD beta. So with my recent findings, so thanks again, Julianne, if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly, I apologize, uh, where I started focusing on my safety score, leaving extra space between myself and the car in front of me, and I was able to get my safety score up to a 95. And then just over this past weekend, um, I drove highway as well as some city and left it completely on autopilot up to the ability that it was able to do it, and I disengaged and took over as I needed to but I was able to get those 100 miles and that was on Sunday night and I think it was Monday yesterday is when I got the alert uh, less than 24 hours after for me to go ahead and download the new update and have FSD beta. So if you have been waiting and not using autopilot, I would encourage you to do that. Um, and I think that was the only requirement that I was missing after getting my safety score up to 895. So let me know in the comment section below if you knew that or didn't know that. I would love to know kind of uh, how many people are actually aware that existed. But for me, again, it worked. So no complaints, I've got FSC beta. And so here we're gonna go ahead and, and take a few rides and drives and see how well this does. For, of course, my safety and the safety of others, I will just keep my hand as close to the steering wheel or on the steering wheel as much as I can and keep my foot basically on the brake pedal uh, in case I need to take over immediately, I can go ahead and engage uh, the brake on it. Yesterday, by the way, if you're not following me on Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'll leave a handle on the screen somewhere here. But yesterday when I did my first trip, I was super, super excited about it. 
and I actually did about 9.7 miles and I only had to intervene one time. And that was a section of the road that didn't have any markings and it was coming up to an intersection and it kind of panicked, didn't know what to do. So I immediately took over, was able to get to the intersection and then re-engage um, FSD and uh, it did flawlessly from there. So I'm curious to know how many times I'll have to step in now. But this uh, drive will be about a 10 minute drive from right where I left to where I'm headed. And uh, again, all city, this is a one lane road and uh, we're gonna get into a two lane and then another inside lane, uh, inside uh, road where we'll get to test this out. So if you have not subscribed, this would be a great moment to go ahead and scroll down and subscribe since we're at red light. I'll be doing a lot more videos, a lot more tests on FSE beta. So if that is something that interests you, make sure you subscribe. Or if you like tech in general, stay tuned. I do a lot of tech videos and reviews as well. So. Uh, the first thing I, of course, did notice immediately when I got into the car and started uh, driving was um, it wasn't actually active. Because I was so excited, I forgot to activate it in settings and I put the address in and I hit uh, you know, F uh, autopilot and I'm like, where is the display? Like, I don't see the different visualizations. So once I activated FSD, that's when you get these really cool graphics and the visual of the upgraded UI. and. Um, see all the details that this camera actually picks up and honestly since the two drives that I've had yesterday I'm just blown away by how much detail this picks up and this is just a beta version so keep in mind that this is not a hundred percent you know established or, or built out quite yet that's why it's called the beta version so there will be mistakes if you do get it I would encourage you to pay more attention than you would normally uh, if you have the consumer version right now but um, uh, I'm gonna make sure I practice that myself uh, because again this is just my third ride so um, I'll be doing a lot more testing. As you guys can see as we're approaching the intersection here it turned its turn signal on by itself. It's gonna go ahead and let's see how well it does on the, the turn here. But it's just amazing to see the number of cars and details this picks up. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it turn. And just like that, he was able to do it. One thing that I did come to find out and learn about as I did more research last night after I got back home is um, when you do have the FSC beta, be extra cautious in making sure you're paying attention to the road as far as cell phones go. I've seen a lot of posts where people are using their cell phone and because there's a camera right here, it does look out for how engaged you are and how much uh, attention you're paying. And they give you, Tesla gives you up to five strikes where if they have to manually disengage you because you're not paying attention, you don't have your hands on the steering wheel or, or something like that, you get five strikes and you get taken out of the beta program. I know recently that uh, Elon released uh, an update where if you had strikes, uh, they were reset, but there's no time frame or no knowing when that's gonna happen. Uh, and I think five disengagements is a lot. So just make sure you're paying attention uh, for the safety of yourself as well as again other drivers on the road. So a little bit of a hard break back there. I don't know why I did that but um, Obviously, it's able to come to a stop and what I want you guys to focus on is kind of what is being displayed here versus kind of what's actually outside and so far again, I am just extremely impressed with the detail that it picks up for example, you guys see there's a, a little bit of a driveway here that's actually right here on my side, I can see it. And it's still picking that up, I'm assuming it's using the camera there, uh, the front fender camera, uh, side camera I should say. I, I don't know how it sees cars where I can't even see them, but somehow it does. And it's crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and continue this drive. The one thing that I did notice in the two drives that I did yesterday, uh, compared to normal uh, autopilot, is it didn't give me as many warnings uh, to like, you know, tell it that I'm still here. So I'm not sure if that's an improvement on the camera itself or improvement on um, sensing my hands on the steering wheel because previously I would have to do that quite a bit even though I pretty much placed my hands where I would normally place them, uh, but it did not ask me to tell it that I'm still here as much as it used to. So this is all, again, doing it by itself that time it did not use a turn signal to come into this lane, but it did activate the turn signal to make a left here. 
So let's see how it does. That was interesting. It kind of went white out in. Uh, I'm not sure why I did that. But so far, I have not had to take over even one time. It's made one, two turns, actually three turns, I'm sorry, and uh, has done really well by itself. So we're almost there. One thing that I didn't do yesterday, I'm curious to know how this works, is once I get there, is it going to pull me into the parking lot and have me take over, or is it going to tell me ahead of time? Uh, but I am about half a mile away from my destination. I'm going to slow down a little bit here because the speed limit is 25 and there are, is sometimes an officer watching this road and the traffic here so I'm just going to go 5 over instead of uh, going 10 over the speed limit. I'm curious if anyone actually drives 25. Okay, so it's going wider here instead of sticking to closer to the lane or the line I should say but still on course. So I'm about 0.3 miles away from the destination. It's coming up here on the right hand side. Let's see how well it picks up this person. Look at that. That's just amazing. All right, I'm almost there. There is a car behind me. So I'm curious to know what this does. I do have my foot on the brake in case I need to take over and disengage it. Okay, it's coming up on the right hand side in 500 feet, 400 feet. 300, 200, 100, no turn signal yet, so I'm just gonna turn it on myself and uh, navigate on autopilot ending. So it did give me that message here and I basically disengaged myself. So yeah, it brings you up to destination. Obviously it's not ready yet to bring you into the parking lot, which I'm sure it will continue to improve as the beta progresses. Right, let me turn around here and park here for a second. So let's take a look here. We've got, yes, one car, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One on the left here, one parked over there, it's picking that up, and one car that just drove by and parked all the way back there. So just take a look at how far that car is and it's still able to detect and pick it up. I'm gonna drive a little further because we've got some people standing outside. Uh, I'm gonna see, yeah, it's already picking them up as well. The person getting out of the car, the door open, it's picking that up. The person picking his dog out of the car right here, uh, it just picked up the dog right there. Look at that. That's crazy. All right, I don't think this lady knows we're behind her. Now she just turned around and looked. All right, I'm going to park here for a second so I can take the camera off and speak to you all. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the drive on the new FSD beta that I just got. Again, if you have not subscribed and you want to learn more about FSD beta and see more upcoming videos, on my Tesla, please make sure you subscribe, give me a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.